And right now, those large wildfires in Northern California and Oregon are putting off a huge amount of smoke, with some of it, as you heard, drifting clear across the country. New research now is shedding more light on just how harmful that smoke can be for people who breathe it in. A study by the California Air Resources Board focused on smoke from the 2018 campfire and found dangerous levels of toxic metals that can lead to a variety of health issues, including asthma flare-ups, lead poisoning, heart disease, and cancer. For more on this information, this new data, we're joined now by Michael Benjamin from the California Air Resources Board. Michael, uh, greatly appreciate your time here. Uh, these massive wildfires that, that we're seeing here uh, in California, th these days they're burning a lot more than just brush and trees. In many cases, we're talking about thousands of homes that are being destroyed, and that creates a, a more toxic mixture. So what have you found is in the smoke that we're breathing in, and just how much of a threat does it pose to our health? Absolutely. We are really concerned, both the Air Resources Board and the local air districts, like the Bay Area Air Quality Management District, we're all concerned about the health impacts from wildfires, but especially when we have structures burning. So what we have found over studying and measuring air pollution related to wildfires over many years is that these fires release fine particulate that's what we call PM 2.5. It's very, very tiny. It's the, about 3% uh, the diameter of a human hair, so very, very small. And these fine particles are so small that they can enter deep into the human lung, and they cause all sorts of issues, not just for people with respiratory conditions, but for people who it may be susceptible to heart conditions. And so what we found in our most recent research is not only are these fine particles from the burning of wood a concern, but when you have houses and vehicles burning, that they release lead and other metals, including zinc, and that those can also have human health impacts that are a concern to us. Does it matter how long someone is exposed to this wildfire smoke, or, or, or does it matter how far away you are from, from an actual fire uh, that, that's burning somewhere? Well, absolutely. The longer you're exposed to smoke and the closer you are to the, the source of the, the smoke, then the greater the health impacts. But what we do see, and we definitely saw this in the campfire back in 2018, was we had smoke from that fire extending 150 miles south of Paradise, California, reaching all the way down to the Bay Area, to Modesto, and people in those areas were exposed to levels of lead and other metals that were about 10 times higher than what we normally see. That occurred for only about a 24-hour period, but exposure to these types of toxics are not something that's a good idea under any conditions. It's, it's uh, you know, only a matter of time, it would seem, before we, we have a, a more of those smoke-filled days here in the Bay Area. There's just sort of no way around it. Obviously, all of us remember uh, the, the, the day we woke up and the skies were orange here in the Bay Area. Um, smoke from a, from a nearby wildfire. Uh, you know, as we look, look ahead and try to plan for, for how to deal with these kinds of conditions here when the air is just thick with smoke like we saw last year, what, what are the uh, most important ways that people can protect themselves and the most important things to keep in mind? Well, there are really two things that we recommend that people do. One is that for people who live in areas that we call the wildland urban interface, those areas that are most likely to experience wildfires and where homes are most likely to burn, that those folks do everything that they can to prevent their homes by, from burning. And that includes having defensible space around your home, 100 feet or so of area where there are no trees or other vegetation that can burn. And then also to harden your home, do things like sealing off the eaves, anything that will prevent sparks from entering the home and, and starting a fire. So step one, recommendation one is keep your home from burning, do everything you can and as well as your vehicles. Recommendation number two is that for everybody in California, really at this point, if you can get your hands on an N95 mask. Those are the ones that used to be around a, a lot more frequently before COVID. 
but if you can get your hands on one of those, please do. Those are the types of masks that are very effective against protecting you from wildfire smoke, including these toxics. Have one of those masks around. If you have access to air conditioning when there is a wildfire, make use of that. Stay indoors. Um, pay attention to what local public health authorities are telling you. Find a cooling center with air conditioning if you, if you don't have uh, access to air conditioning in your own home. Or if you are able to, um, try to get away from the smoke. Uh, maybe sure. go and visit family or friends who live uh, outside of those yeah. areas. That's a good idea if you have the ability to, uh, to do that. Some good recommendations. Uh, appreciate your time today. Michael Benjamin with the California Air Resources Board. Thank you. You're welcome.